so we've just come into Magic Kingdom. Um, we thought we might do a bit of park hopping today. So we're coming here for the morning and then we're going to head on over to Animal Kingdom in the afternoon because we want to do the safari. We can probably hear him. Um, don't know where about they are actually. I think they're over there somewhere. Oh no, they're up there. Casper has taken this ET everywhere. I've not used since we bought him. Careful your car doesn't drop out, okay? You love him, don't you? And you're even feeding him breakfast this morning, aren't you? Okay, so we're going to head to a magic carpet ride because I think Casper wanted to. Uh, then we're going to go to the Animal Kingdom go on a safari ride, we're going to do which Peter we couldn't Pan. go on yesterday. Yeah, we're going to do Peter Pan. Right? We're going on the Peter Pan. Aren't we? Yeah. Well, at least that's what I've been told. Oh, careful, Archie. Come on, Archie. So we're now going on the Small World ride. It's only just opened. Are you ready? Yeah, it's a bit like I'm not too sure about this, but I've got the answer. It's been shut all morning and all of a sudden it just suddenly opened so we just run for that and there was literally no queue. So we've done that and now we're heading to Peter Pan. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, we're going to go on there. Peter Pan. Um, so we've got the fast passes for this one. We're just going to go on it. We're all going on it because the little ones are going on it as well. Magic Kingdom and we're just going to get back in the car and head over to Animal Kingdom. I'm hoping that we can actually do a park swap. What do you call it now? A park, park hop, not park swap. Ugh. Park hop, because when I tried to book it in on the app, yeah, over there, it wouldn't actually let me do it. So hopefully we should be all good. We'll see when we get there. These kids are very, very sweaty today because it is baking hot, I think it's about 32 maybe, it's very hot, very very hot. We did the um, Volcano Bay water park yesterday and it's okay in the morning and then come mid afternoon it absolutely chucked it down. It was wind, high wind and there was just rain. It was wasn't it? it, was, it we, got, we got absolutely soaked. The rain was bouncing. It was like a miniature hurricane. It was. <laughs> it was. The change your bag was soaked, just everything's absolutely soaked. Oh by the way guys, if you're going to go on the monorail you need um, face masks but around the park and stuff you don't need them. Um, and if you go on the boat you don't need them either. It's literally just the monorail. on the monorail. Well, I can confirm that you definitely can park hop with your tickets. We did manage to get in, no problem at all. Um, we decided not to bring the change bag out with us because it's so heavy and nobody could be bothered carrying it. And then realised that actually the batteries for the camera are in the changing bag. So Noel's gone back to get the batteries out. Oh, come here. Come on, Bonnie. Get the batteries out of the changing bag. and. I've just managed to book in the safari for quad six. So we're all good to go. We have our out clear, so we are going to begin our long two week journey across Africa. And our first stop is going to be here in the Aturi Forest. So the Aturi Forest is going to be home to animals that love to camouflage. Most of the animals are brown, but they have their unique patterns. Like the oak hoppies. Uh, there is a little hoppy hiding out over there on our right. Oh, hoppies. 
wings. They have their striped legs. They kind of look like a zebra striped legs. But on our left is the saddle bill store. It's got very tall birds. We'll go see if we can find another saddle bill store. But those old copies, they do have their striped legs and they look like a zebra striped leg. Not related to a zebra though. It's the closest living relative to a giraffe. And it looks like we can find one more Right. Oh, very far back. So we'll go see. So the saddle storks are pretty tall. They are going to be upwards to about five feet tall. And over here on our left is the black rhino. Black rhinos. They weigh upwards to about 3,000 pounds, but they are an endangered species. So there is only going to be about 5,000 of them left in the wild. And it is a black rhino because it's got an upper prehensile lip. On our left are the bongos. Bongos are also known as the ghosts of the forest because they can blend in pretty well into their surroundings. Over here on our left is another type of antelope. There's going to be a tannish colored one. It's the greater kudu. The greater kudu. They are one of the tallest antelopes in Africa. But it looks like our surroundings they're changing up. There's definitely way more vegetation over here. It also looks like on our left is that sign. It's very slowly, holy, which does mean very slowly in Swahili. So we'll make our way, pulley pulley, very slowly all the way to the Safi River, which is gonna be home to aquatic animals. So make sure your eyes are on the water because it looks like there are the Nile hippos. There's one hanging out right over there on our right. And we'll go see if we can find any more hippos hanging out. The hippos stand in the water. He's in the water. Yeah. And the water is just going to offer them a layer of protection against the sun. And it does look like there's one more hippo Hello. over here on our left. Oh, look at him. Underneath the water. all the way down to the surface of the pond and then they just walk or run right on the bottom. We'll make our way all the way over here to the first bridge of our journey. And this bridge, it is going to have a nickname. It's also going to be known as the Crocodile Bridge because there are going to be the Nile Crocodiles on our left. Oh, oh, so let's remain seated and remember we can't lift our little ones up. The Nile crocodiles are the largest crocodilians in Africa. They can eat prey a bit larger than themselves, such as zebras and wildebeest. They also have some pretty powerful jaws. Because in one bite they can break up. But we'll make our way all the way over here. Up here looks like we are starting to have less trees. There's also a much clearer view of the very bright blue sky. So we're making our way to the savannah. Over here on our right though, this tree, it kind of looks like it's upside down. It's a baobab tree, also known as the tree of life, because it stores water in its trunk for nine months long. And during those very long nine months, it doesn't have any leaves on it. And it's a great place for the very large animals of the savannah to have a water source. And it looks like we've made it to the savannah and it does look like on our right there is gonna be a zebra. And these are the Harvard Mountain Zebra because it's gonna have a flat underneath its neck. 
it's gonna be called a dew lap. And the dew lap it helps us stay cool. There's also the wildebeest, the gray shaggy looking animals. Wildebeest are great herding animals. They can be found in herds of upwards to 1.5 million in Africa. We'll make our way up here though. So, over here on our left, we are making our way towards the cave. So, sometimes in these caves, we can find some animals running around. Sometimes they like to take their naps. So we're gonna see if we can find them. And it looks like we can find them. They're gonna be the spotted hyenas. They'll be on our left. There are two of the hyenas. One outside of the cave, and then there's one just hanging out right on top of the cave, taking a nap. Spotted hyenas are not part of the canine family. They have their very own family, the hyena day. And remember, friends, we do have to remain seated. So the spotted hyenas, they're not going to be scavenger hunters. There are actually some pretty great hunters on their very own. Rugo are going to be these very large mounds. And these are termite mounds. Termite mounds are actually going to be good places for animals. Can they can rub up against them, get rid of an itchy spot. They might even sharpen up some antlers. Eventually though, the termite mounds are going to be rubbed off so much, they'll just look like the giant pile of dirt on our right. So we'll circle around and go see what else we can find out here. So it does look like there are these wildebeest again. So the wildebeest are gray herding animals, but some pretty good travelers. Because they do migrate about 500 to 1,000 miles a year. But they're also some kind of cool animals. So when one wildebeest needs to sleep, that one sleeps and then they form a circle around the sleeping wildebeest. That way, if a predator comes their way, they'll be able to be there and protect their own. So the Angoli cattle have got their very long horns, but these giraffes over here are pretty tall. They're upwards to 18 to 20 feet tall. But not only are they very tall, they're also going to have a very long tongue. So you just stick your arm upwards from your wrist all the way down to your elbow. It's the length of a giraffe's tongue. So that means those tongues are a foot and a half long. And their tongues are purple. So when they do reach up to grab leaves off the trees, their tongues don't get sunburnt. But there are definitely a few giraffes over there on our left hanging out, grabbing something to eat. The name for the herd of giraffes is going to be called a tower of giraffes. The bulldozer of Africa, because it knocks over trees with those tusks. And it looks like it's using its very most unique feature, its trunk. So it's prehensile. It's going to act like a hand to help it pick things off the ground, like it's food, or it's water, or the elephant. It might even just pick up some dirt and toss it straight up onto its back. So the mothers and the young ones, they are gonna form their own herd. Male elephants, they're more solitary. Or the male elephants, they might form their own herds with other males that are gonna be called bachelor herds. Uh, but the elephants, they also have those giant ears. So those ears can actually help you know the difference between Asian elephants and African elephants. African elephant ears are much larger, but their ears also kind of look like they're in the shape of Africa. Well, we are coming all the way over here. It looks like into the red clay pit. And down here in the red clay on our right, that red clay looks like it's got some scrub marks in it, which could have come from elephants. With an elephant on our left. Elephants, they do actually eat red clay. 
it is going to provide them some vitamins and minerals that we don't get from our usual diets. It you looks see it funny. like we are going to wait right here for half a moment because up ahead, the truck has got an Inkoli cattle in the way. So that means they can't get on by. So we're going to hang out right here until the Inkoli cattle it. it doesn't want to be in the way anymore. But those elephants, pretty large animals in Africa though, they were having problems with elephants walking all over their crops and destroying them. So the Disney Conservation Fund, they sent some scientists over, figure out how they could help the upside down tree. Cause it looks like someone picked up a tree and they tossed it straight over their shoulder and the tree, they landed upside down with those roots coming straight up from the top of it. Okay. Hey, and it looks like we are going to make our way through this elephant's water. We'll make our way pulley pulley very slowly through it. Because it looks like we are coming over here to the flamingos, but we're going to have to wait right here because the uncoli cattle. It's in the way. It's wandered straight in the road. Right, so we're on the safari. Hey, get off the camera. And one of the animals has walked in front of the car and we've been stuck here for the last five minutes. But I can see flamingos. Would you believe it? But another cattle has stopped us. Two Two cattle, yay. Hopefully it doesn't. So it's not in the way, one. it's giant horn is in the way. That one, like, up there. <laughs> it just has its little horns on his head. That's not the lettuce. And just he's isn't quite there, aware that he's in the way. He's but he's eventually yeah. wandering out. He's got his leaves. No, he's throwing stuff. He's throwing lettuce. Yeah. Eat the lettuce. Bye. 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 The cheetahs! They are some very fast runners. Already found. We have encountered now white rhinos. And the rhinos are in the way! So now we're gonna wait for the rhinos to make our way out of their way. Because it does look like there are a few rhinos! So we are gonna make our way over there so that we can't get a look at them. We just don't want to kind of push them you know, more in the way. We're surrounded by the rhinos. So hopefully they'll make them way on out. They found some sort of snack over here. You found a snack? What snack? Share with me. Wow, look at them. There's the lion. And then there's two lionesses. I have learned how to zoom in. And there they are. Leave it down. Leave it down. Alrighty, we're gonna make our way on just a little bit. And this one's just staring at us. Bye, lion. Bye, lion. Well, we just got off Expedition Everest. Gotta say, guys, that's one of the best rides I've ever been on. Even little Casper, what do you think? It was amazing. Amazing. Best ride of ever. It was, wasn't it? It was really, really good. It's a lot longer than what I thought it went on for, and um, yeah, really good. What do you think, Amy? I loved it. It was so good, especially when it went back. It was so good. Casper sat next to you. What did he shout when we went down? Um, when we was in the dark, he went, "I'm scared," or "I don't like it." I said, yeah. "I'm," I said, "I'm scared." But when, but when we were going down, that was really When we were going down, Daddy, actually I had thought, his hands up with me. Yeah. I actually oh. thought that we were going up for very long, but... Yeah, we wasn't. Like, we were going good. up, and it went, like, in the pitch black, but it was, and it was super fast, but it was really fun. And the Yeti actually broke the road. He did, he pulled all the railway up, didn't he? Yeah, not with my The only thing is, E.T. couldn't come with us, could he? He had to stay here. And I had to like this, and he loved it. E.T. would have loved it.